Today's video is sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms Lost Crusade. In today's video, we're going to see if we can do a little chemistry magic and turn chicken eggs into bricks or mortar. Guys, we have about 60 eggs here. I think exactly 60. We'll call it 59.9 because this one came broken. We want to try something. Not too long ago, we tried putting seashells in our foundry. They turned completely white. They got very crumbly. We took that. We mixed it with hot water. There was a chemical reaction with boiling and steam. It was so cool. And if we understand correctly what happened, our seashells, which are made of calcium carbonate, turned into quicklime, um, a calcium-based material that will react with water and turn into slate to lime, which then can be mixed with sand and some other substances to make mortar or bricks out of. And eggshells are also made of calcium carbonate. Same basic idea. It's pretty similar. A lot of things in nature are going to be made out of this stuff, so. Here's the basic idea. We're going to try to take a whole bunch of eggshells and heat them up until they turn into quick lime, and then try to mix them with water to make a brick or mortar material that will stick together. So assuming we can get this to work, I think there's a lot of interesting things we could build with it. Yeah, I think so. And speaking of building, that is one of my favorite things to do in the game, Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is a real-time strategy game that you can play while you're on your phone, anywhere, anytime. The game has become extremely popular with over 30 million players. Like I mentioned, one of the best parts of the game is building your own unique base, which has a really cool cartoon art style. The game world also has a lot of great little details like weather cycles and days passing. The game lets you choose from 11 historical civilizations which all come with their own unique special units. You can also collect dozens of legendary historical commanders who will lead your armies. My favorite commander to play is Julius Caesar. The movement of your troops is completely unrestricted as well, so you can seamlessly traverse the map as you position your armies and engage in battles. The map is also completely scalable, which lets you zoom in and out as much as you need. One of the newer features of the game allows players to form alliances and join the Osiris League, which is a worldwide competition putting hundreds of players and their alliances against each other. By signing up using our link, you'll receive the $10 bundle, three 60-minute building speedups, 360 minute training speedups, 360 minute research speedups, and 10 level 5 tombs of knowledge. So, to get started building your own kingdom and to support our channel, go ahead and click the link in the description now. Calcium is a good material that crystallizes together and forms hard shell like materials, so it's pretty common. You know, we've got our bones are largely made of calcium. It's a good structure to build sturdy stuff on or inside of, in the case of an egg. So basically, we're going to put the egg interiors in this bowl, save those for another project, and we're gonna put all of the shells into this. And I think we're just gonna try and stack them, but we're just gonna keep filling this thing up like as, as many as we can fit in there. And I don't know if we'll get all 60, but we're gonna see how far we get. I've never seen anybody use a knife to crack an egg before. It's not necessary. Nice. Ah! Wait, there's half a shell in there. <laughs> we also wanted to give a quick shout out to Jordan H from our Discord for submitting this idea. If you have a great idea, you can leave a comment below, but submitting it through the Discord will help it be seen easier. To join the Discord, look for the link in the description. Oh, 60 eggshells. 60 eggshells, that is a lot of eggshells. So now we're going to put them in our foundry and we're gonna leave it there for like two or three hours. We're just gonna roast them and roast them and roast them. Hopefully that helps them undergo the chemical change that they need because they need to be at pretty high temperature. For a from, long time. From what we can tell from our research, they need to stay there for a while. So, into the foundry they go. There's a whole lot of eggshells in a crucible. Sure enough. I've never seen an eggshell burn before. They're starting to turn black. All right. So yeah, you let that just get up to glowing orange and sit there really nice and hot for a couple hours. All right, I'll see what happens. It's been about four hours. We filmed all of our other videos for the day and we've had this running the whole time. So it's getting dark, it's cold and it's snowing. So we're gonna turn off the foundry. We're actually going to leave this overnight, let everything cool down. Tomorrow I'm gonna pull these out. We'll see if we have what we need for mortar and brick. We've let it cool down overnight. Whew, that's now very cold. And this is what the inside looks like. And honestly, this is the weirdest thing that I definitely did not expect at all. There may have been some parts that built up. Yeah, there's just a bunch of little like pieces in here, these little nuggets, I guess. And then the rest is just like this black dust. Now, it's very possible that we've had a lot of contamination from our graphite crucible and we don't have 
nice clean eggshell results here. So we're gonna try and pour all of this out and see if there's any more eggshell looking stuff down at the bottom. So there is some down there. So what in the world is this? Here's the hoping it's not gonna do anything dangerous when I put water on it. Oh, uh -huh. there's our eggs. Look at this, this is the strangest stuff. We don't know what we put in the crucible last, guys. <laughs> Probably should have thought of that yeah, ahead it's, of time. It's had glass, it's had aluminum, it's had it, brass, It did copper. have the in indestructible shoes. I do remember that. Most of what we actually have here is eggshell. There's just a lot of non-eggshell mm -hmm. on top. Well, some eggshell is coming out, but all of the black dust is coming out. And then this one is mostly whatever the non-eggshell is. Yeah, this metallic So nonsense. I think we start adding some really hot water to both of them and stirring and see if we start getting the bubbling reaction that lets us know that we've created slate to lime. All right, here's some very hot water, and yep. we're gonna add this into our cooked eggshells and see if we start getting any sort of chemical reaction going. The last time we had to pour off some of the water before we got a reaction, I think. So if the water that went in was boiling, that would have been 212, so that's well within the range. But I did see some little bubbles. Oh yeah, there we go. Yay! That right there that's is a good sign. That's Starting moving to move on right its there. own. Yep, moving more throughout. That noise, you can hear the snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> There we go. So slow to start and works better with less water. In the beginning. And then but you can once add it more. gets going, yeah, we're yeah, having a good, fun. good reaction here. I don't even know if it's necessarily hotter, but it's putting off gas. Clearly it is contaminated. That's very obvious. Now I've got some more hot water. I'm just gonna pour it into this stuff, whatever this mystery stuff is. Now this mystery stuff definitely has some eggshell in it. So it is possible we'll start to get some reaction just from the eggshell, whether or not the rest of this silvery carbon, almost certainly some kind of carbon reacts, that's hard to know. I do think that a lot of this is graphite, given the color and the sheen we've got going on. So we've got some sand. I think we should take some sand, mm -hmm. mix it in with this, and then form it into a little bit of a brick and see if we can make a functional brick that holds itself together. I like it. I also want to try to make a graphite brick because we have it. With some of this? Yeah. I like that plan too. That has a fairly similar consistency to mortar right there. Mm -hmm. So our pretty quartz sand, which I'm already mixing a little bit here. There's gonna be like specific recipes that give you the best results mm -hmm. of the quick lime and sand and probably clay dust. And you know, there might be a number of things or hundreds of even different recipes. We're literally just taking the quick lime and adding some sand to it. This is more so, a, if we didn't know what we were doing, could we do it? And is, so far- Is it possible to stick together? Is mm -hmm. that kind of the main goal? Is like, are we gonna end up with something solid in the end? If we drop it from two feet, is it gonna break or is it going to hold its shape a little bit? When we make oobleck, we have what's a sheer thickening fluid. As you add pressure to it, it becomes more solid. It gets angry and seizes up. Well. Pressure might make this stay kind of solid or even crumble, but if we shake this, it becomes a liquid again. And that's called liquefaction. That happens to wet sand quite a bit. If there are ever earthquakes at sea, then island countries can be in real peril because the sand that makes up a lot of the foundation in some places can just turn to a liquid. I think that happens to Tortuga. Well, I don't know what kind of result we're gonna get from our bricks, but the fact that we got the bubbling chemical reaction where gases were coming off and it was heating up, that's very encouraging, I think. Good sign. So we'll just have to let these sit for a while and see what we got. We'll find out. It's the next day. We've let our eggshell mixture concoctions sit overnight, and while that's probably not enough for a full cure, everything seems fairly dry, so I think it's at least cured enough that we can look at it. I'm pretty happy already because everything is... Tell its shape. Pretty sounds, solid. Sounds solid. So this one was graphite and mortar. We think graphite. We, yeah, we're shiny not sure, green. but we think so. <laughs> this one is for sure quartz sand and mortar, and this is just plain mortar, is that right? This was everything we had left over. Okay, yes, it's the mortar, eggshell mortar. <laughs> well, I barely tried to bend it and, or not even bend it, just test it and, wait, mate. This oh, is, is it still mushy on the inside? Wet. Interesting. Yeah. All right, false alarm. We're gonna give it one more day because that's still squishy. Not even cured, but not even fully dry. So we're gonna flip them over, leave them inside but this I do, time maybe. I do wanna look at this. Yes, the top at least. Like the top of this one, like. 
I, oh, yeah. It looks and feels like mortar. Yeah. I don't know how strong it is, but like. Well, the, okay, that's actually true. The mortar on its own is very, very lightweight, a little bit more fragile, but the. Br don't snap them. I didn't even try. They're not the strongest bricks in the world. All right, we're gonna give these one more day. Fingers crossed. All right, we didn't just give our eggshell bricks one more day to dry. We gave them like a week and a half more to dry, but that's we, all right. To be honest, we forgot about them. But now we've <laughs> let them dry for a good while and anything made with quick lime is gonna keep curing more and more. So they should just True. be even stronger now. And at least they aren't like wet on the back. So yes. we've definitely gotten to that point. Our poor Lego figure, is not really survivable. This, I believe, was the one that was like all of our leftover stuff mixed yeah. together. It sounds like pieces of concrete. It feels like pieces, like lightweight, so kind of the stuff that you find yeah. between bricks. I would say, mortar. yeah, it is pretty similar to mortar. Um, it's not the strongest in the world. I'm gonna see if I can just crack this. It's already cracked once, so I suspect yeah. I'll be able to. And that is purely egg white, oh. right? Inside is a lot more chalky yeah. than the outside. So not cured all the way through. I've, I'm just carving into this with my fingernail. Yeah. So this one that I'm holding, this is the one that's most contaminated, the stuff that we pulled out of the very bottom of the container. We weren't sure if it was like a graphite or what was happening. What was burned off in our crucible that made this? That is legit chalk. At one point we tested a weird method of making chalk out of eggshells. Huh, okay. It didn't work at all. It was like a, that, that pastel thing you put in a chapstick container. Oh, and then, yeah. yeah. It didn't work at all. But, I mean, this is made chalk, so apparently you yeah. just need to cook it and So that one, which I think is it. the purest, is absolutely kind of doing the best for that chalk. The sand one, you're still just able to crack it right in half. Like yes, that. this is the one mixed with sand. Which is, I think it's the strongest. It's definitely the heaviest. Yes. It feels the most like brick or stone. Yeah. And again, mortar on its own, yeah, you could absolutely break, so that's not a thing, but it is tough stuff when it's put together. I can... Just sort of wear away at the sand here. And you can see how it likes yeah. to stick to the bricks. We had to pop all of these off individually. We definitely got something that cures and that turns into a brick or mortar-like substance, which for something made out of eggshell, I'm pretty impressed. Although I will say, if you actually wanted to build out of this, you would need like tens of thousands of eggs. This was 60 eggs, all of this. I'm probably holding like 20 eggs right we here. We did lose some to the mystery of what happened to our crucible. How it boiled over me, Mixing with know. graphite powder or something. <laughs> but out of what we did get, yeah, it didn't turn into a lot of mortar. You'd be able to mortar in like one brick per 60 eggs. So if you're building stuff out of bricks, you would need a heck of a lot of eggs. An entire chicken-based society. Eggshells, calcium carbonate, cook them, and then you add it to some water, you get a chemical reaction, and it will bond together. How cool is that? It's amazing. Thanks again to our sponsor, Rise of Kingdoms Lost Crusade. To share your support for our channel and to download the game today, go ahead and click the link in the description. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.